black people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving me. Like Dr. King, we make it plain and simple. Bringing knowledge and fire at reality simple. Reality simple. My black people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving me. Like Dr. King, we make it plain and simple. Bringing knowledge and fire at reality simple. In the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the gatekeeper or the host of this particular program known here on the internet around the world. I am known as the mighty. Mighty, mighty, mm. Angel Snuff Nuff Seven. I am your brother, and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. Wow. I know, I know. All right, okay, come on. We we're gonna talk about this. I'm already in trouble due to the title of this particular video, and the title that I've chosen, the subject that I've chosen for the next 10 minutes is it is impossible for believers in God to tell the truth. <laughs> I know, I know I'm in trouble. Just calm down, settle down. Let's, 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 let's not get angry. What brings me to this specific, <laughs> oh wow, tongue tied. Y'all got me nervous. What brings me to this particular topic is that I saw a young brother who calls himself a Hebrew Israelite, I believe. Or was it a Moor? I believe he's a Hebrew Israelite. And he was speaking and he was saying to the camera, that without a shadow of a doubt that he brings us and our people need what he has to say because it is the truth. And I looked at him and I listened to what he had to say and of course I could not agree with his conclusion. Although much of what he did have to say was some truth, a bit of truth, but it was not the truth, the truth, like he claims. And I will explain why. He is a believer in God. And he is basing his conversation on the belief in God. And in God, he brings to us the truth. But a believer in God cannot bring to us the truth. When we use the word the, that is the definite article. It is pointing to something that is specific. Such as an example very simply. Go get the ball. There might be many balls. But I want you to go get not a ball. Because if I ask you to go get a ball. That could be anything that looks like or described to us as a ball. It is a ball. I want you to go get the ball mean a specific ball. When you are angry at the uh, pizza stand, 
there's something wrong with your pizza. And the regular employee can't satisfy your complaint. The first thing you say is, I want to see the manager, not the assistant manager, not the chef manager. I want to see the man, the manager. That means you want to see the one who is in charge, the supervisor, the big boy, the one who's running everything. So, we have God, and we want to worship and serve the God. Although God have children, you may be considered a God, but when we speak about God, we want to go to the man in charge. We want to know about the God. So the is pointing us towards something that is specific. And then we have truth. What is truth? Very simply, truth is facts. If you don't have facts, you cannot have truth. And those facts are consistent with reality. This is the key. This is the reason why a believer in God cannot tell the truth. Because in order to tell the truth, it must be consistent with with reality. But you are not a realist. You are a believer in God. You are a believer in what you say. It is not based in facts. It is not consistent with, with reality. It is consistent with opinion. If you are a believer, your opinion is not based in facts. It is based on could be, could be not could be true might not be true but when you're searching for the truth it must be the truth it cannot be some truth it cannot be a little bit of truth it must be the truth not a truth it must be specific if you are a believer in god it is based in belief God is a belief, not necessarily true. Spirits are a belief, not necessarily true. Angels are a belief, not necessarily true. All those stories and everything that you learn from up out of religious teaching, these are something that you believe in. They are not facts. So your truth is not consistent with facts. And certainly, it is not consistent with reality because if you if you have facts and you live in a in a real world there's no need to believe but you must believe because what you present to us is not factual if what you say was real truth then how can believers in God be so weak if you believe in the truth and you carry the truth? But it is so easy for you to sin. And the first thing you do is say, well, my flesh is weak. This is because you do not carry the truth. You really don't believe what you say. In Christian teachings, they teach us and we are taught that God is everywhere. But it is easy for you to sin. If you thought God was sitting next to you and you really believe that, how could you sin? You are a liar and you don't carry the truth. You have a truth and you have some truth, but you don't have the truth. Definitely, you don't have the real truth. And then you talk about love. But many religious believers are the most hateful people. Those who are have some type of belief in God and some supreme being. They are the most hateful people. Vulgar and nasty people that you can run into when you are on their bad side. 
you believe in the truth, but you don't want to talk about the truth of the matter is your religion, your belief. And the only reason why most of you believe what you talk about is because that religion was forced on people hundreds of years ago. You don't even want to admit that truth, but you say that you stand for truth. You don't want to talk about how much harm your religious teachings have brought to this planet. How many innocent people, how many babies and women and children and grown men have been murdered and slaughtered and killed? How many towns have been burned down and civilizations destroyed because of religious belief? You don't want to talk about that. You want to talk about your belief and this fantasy of love that you don't even represent. So how can you tell me that you have some truth that is good for the human family when you cannot accept the truth that your religious belief system came from up out of and the only reason why it exists was be was due to violence extreme violence and even in yourself you are a sinner an easy sinner and you make excuses there are so-called atheist people who are more righteous than any believer in God. And I know that myself. I know I can place myself before any of y'all believers in God. And I know I am more righteous than most of you. The majority of you. And if God is a just God. And on the judgment day. Although I might not cry Jehovah. I might not cry Yahweh. Or Jesus or Muhammad or Allah. On the judgment day, if God exists and this God is fair, how would this God choose you who are a sinner? You backslide, you are drunk, you profane, you hate fear, all these things. You're a fornicator and an adulterer. How would this God, if this God is just, choose you to go to heaven because the only thing you did was shout the name of the God while the so-called atheists, the one who say that they don't believe in God, is actually practicing righteous behavior. If God would choose a sinner over the righteous, then I would be so happy and glad that I rejected the belief and the worship and the serving of, of a God that is not just and just as wacky as the believers are. So I have proved, believers in God, you can bring some truth, a bit of truth, a tap of truth, but you cannot bring to the masses the real truth because truth is not based in belief. It is based on facts consistent with reality. And what you talk about is based in belief. That is not my fault. If you choose to relinquish such belief, then maybe you will find the real truth. And if you do find the real truth, you will find that things really are much, much better, much, much easier just to accept your reality. And your life really will be much, much happier than trying to live up to something that you know that you can. Jot down your comments. Let's talk about it. This is your brother, Talik Ibn Ra. This was and is. The Realities Temple on Earth. My black people, it's all about the unity, there's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody move for me. Like that the king, we make it plain and simple. Bringing knowledge and fire at reality simple. Reality simple. My black people, it's all about the unity, there's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody move for me. Like that the king, we make it plain and simple. Bringing knowledge and fire at re